Hey guys, so today I'm gonna be making over some rash drawers and I am gonna show you what they look like right now and then I'm gonna show you step what, by step what I do with them. So here are the drawers and right now I already did a makeover on them. Um, you know, they originally come just wood looking but I decided that I wanna go a little bit further and I wanna change up my decor just a little bit. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add, I'm gonna paint them again because they need painting already. This one right here is over 10 years old. Um, I bought that one over there, I believe it was last year. Or, yeah, I think it was last year that I bought it. They look exactly the same. But this one has seen many paint jobs. Um, I, it might be around 12 years old. It's pretty old and it's still holding up and it still looks pretty good. Um, like the inside looks good, everything looks good. Um, but I'm gonna be painting them both with white chalk paint from Rust-Oleum. And I'm gonna be taking out the knobs that I currently have. I have these frosted glass knobs. They're not, they're not actually glass. And the, what I hate about them is that I can get, never get them tight enough and they're always going like that. So I hate that. On this one, I have the clear ones, and you see how dirty it is. And I already did wipe it down, but it's still kind of, like, dirty. Anyways, this one has the clear knobs. So I'm going to be taking out these knobs, and I'm going to be putting on something else. So I bought these um, handles right here. And you can tell that they're different from what it currently has. Um, you see? They're spaced differently. So, what I'm going to do first is that I am going to take out the knobs that it has. I'm going to fill them in with wood filler. I'm going to be filling them in with this wood filler right here. Once that's dry, I'm going to sand it down a little bit. I'm going to paint over it. And then I'm going um, to make new holes for these um, handles. Okay? So I have um, the wood filler right here. I put a little bit of water on it to thin it a little bit to like peanut butter consistency. And I've been filling holes, as you can see right here. Um, okay, so I am taking out the knob that it currently has. Um, and it just has a little nut in the back. And that's what I do. I remove that like that there's nothing to it so now we have the hole right here and I grab a little bit of the wood filler and I fill the hole <laughs> be measuring right here 25 inches that's where I'm gonna cut so I am going to square this ah, this is heavy so that's where I'm gonna cut right here and this is just to make a right angle like it's a 90 degree angle right there I'm going to measure from here over there another 25 inches right here I am cutting it with a jigsaw and don't worry my hand is pretty far away from the blade it just looks really close on the video Wipe it down with a damp towel because I don't want anything on Okay, I want to make sure that it's clean, clear. From 
and this one right here is Jackal Bean. And I don't think I want to do completely Jackal Bean. I feel like it's a little too dark for my taste. I want to kind of do um, a combination of the two. And this one is almost done, so I think I'm just going to add some of this in here. I heard that sometimes different shades have different consistencies and I'm hoping this one matches with this one. It doesn't create a mess. So I am going to add one, two, three, four. That's it because I feel that Jackal Bean is very, the color is kind of dark. And, I don't want to make, and I'm not going to dip it back in there because I don't want to alter the jackal bean. I want to leave it as is. There's a lot of it left in there. So, done with this one. I'm going to leave it there. So here they are painted um, it's still drying I think it will need another coat after this one So what I'm doing now is making the holes. <laughs> this is already going on. But I'm making the holes. The way I did it is that I traced out the, the front of the door. And then I made the holes right here where uh, the handle is. So then I put it on and then I trace the little dot. I just put the little dot wherever I need to make the hole. There. And I'm going to... Yeah. I'm gonna make a hole right there. So I'm gonna be inserting this in here. All right, so I'm done with the dressers and I'm gonna show you what they look like finished. So um, I used the min wax and then later on I used the chalked chalk linen white rustoleum chalked linen white um, chalky smooth finish paint superior coverage ultra matte 
paint. So this is what I use to paint, um, to paint everything. Compared to the white that I had before, which is, I'm pretty sure it's the ultra pure white or something like that. That's the regular white that comes in the can. Latex paint for the walls. Um, this one had more like a, I felt that it had a little more gray in it. Um, but I mean, once you look at it right here, it just looks white. It doesn't look gray. My walls, as you can see right here, they are gray. So, and then I have like the grayish beigey curtain. And so that's the vibe I have going right here. Okay. To top it all off, I used this and it is the chalked matte clear protective top coat enhances color easier to apply than traditional waxes so you don't use the wax as in regular chalk paint which i have never used um this is the first time i use anything like that um i use this on top of this this was like 20 dollars. i think each of them were like 20 dollars for a quart of um for a quart <laughs> I was going to use polyurethane for this top part, but my polyurethane that I've had there for like a year or two, it had um, become a little bit hard and it was unusable. So I had to throw it out and I didn't want to buy another one because it was almost $20. So then um, I decided to just use this matte clear top coat and it works fine. It worked fine. It looks nice. Um, it says right here that you could use it on wood. So I used it on wood and it looks pretty good. I did not sand in between coats. I used two coats of the top coat um, on, on the white part and also on the wooden part. And yeah, I let it dry in between. It dries pretty fast. Um, by the way, like this looks wet when you put it on, obviously, but it dries like super matte it's very matte there's no shine at all um and even with the even with the this top coat the matte clear top coat you can't really tell it's like there's not much shine at all like it's pretty matte <laughs> it's pretty matte okay the handles that i used um they're from amazon i will link them down below just so if you're interested in in them um, but yeah they're from Amazon and I love it all right so I'm gonna make over another piece of furniture in this room and I think that that one I'm gonna do in Spanish um, I'm gonna do basically the same process as I did with this one um, and it's a larger piece it's like really tall I can see it right here it's like very big it's a big dresser I think it's an antique and I don't know what my husband's gonna say, but anyways, I'm gonna be making it over. I'm gonna be doing it in Spanish. If anyone is interested in um, seeing the Spanish version of this, yeah, I'm gonna be doing that. All right, so thanks for watching. Um, have a great day, bye.